What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my quick review of the Air Hogs Batmobile. The official licensed replica Batmobile from the movie Batman vs Superman. And this thing looks awesome. So you can see a lot of detail in that. And it does have LED lighting. White in the front. You have four of them and one red in the back. This thing is very low profile so it looks really fast and sleek when it's driving it's not overly fast though this thing isn't very fast but we have to keep in mind that air hogs really makes toys for little kids so this is not a hobby grade rc by no means it's a toy that just looks awesome so i would recommend this to the hobbyists that are just batman fans and just want this for a collector's item but otherwise, this is just a kid's toy. It doesn't have a lot of power, but it's got a decent amount of power, a decent amount of torque. It's only rear wheel. It's only rear wheel drive. So uh, no uh, rock climbing or anything like this, but it does have a decent amount of power. I was able to get drive this up my kid's sliding board <laughs> that I usually play with sometimes with the RCs. So, and the angle, it's pretty steep. So this thing does have some good power to it for its size and for its weight and it just looks really nice it turned the turns are kind of wide no proportional steering on this so it's all or nothing you have to like tap the turning to actually get it to turn precisely as you want it to turn because it's all or nothing again and that's one negative that i have about it the transmitter it's the typical air hog style transmitter. I would have liked it better if it had a wheel type of steering transmitter. I think that's just always better with cars. Another negative I have about it. Well, I guess it's just probably just preference. I would have liked for um, this thing to make some kind of sounds because it does. <laughs> after all, it is it is a toy. It has this turret right here on the front and it's advertised as having a moving turret and all of that. And it does light up, but I was expecting this turret to, you know, to, it, to make some sounds, at least put them on the transmitter like the Millennium Falcon does. You have the shoulder buttons on it. This transmitter here has shoulder buttons, but they don't do anything. They're actually fake shoulder buttons. Actually, they do put press in, but they just don't do anything. So no sounds coming from this thing. It's just, uh, I guess they're thinking that just how it looks, it looks so cool that you'll just want it. And they might be right. This thing is a cool vehicle to have. It looks really awesome. I really wouldn't recommend driving it outdoors because of how low profile the tires are and all and how low it sits. Because if you hit some rocks or whatever, it's probably going to scratch up the bottom or whatnot. The battery is non-removable. I'm not sure if it's a LiPo battery in here or not, but... You do get a USB charging cable to charge it. It takes the micro USB just like the phones. And this little light here turns red when you're charging it. And it turns green or turn. I can't remember if it. I think it just turns off. Uh, this light goes out when you're done charging, when it's fully charged. And so this thing, this thing just looks really awesome. Like the detail and everything that they put in it. I haven't seen... The Batman versus Superman uh, movie preview or anything like that. Um, but apparently this is a movie that's actually coming out. Batman versus Superman. And this is the official replica from that uh, movie. So, uh, new Batmobile. <laughs> and we get to have it before the actual movie comes out. So, I'm pretty awesome for Batman fans. This transmitter here takes two AA batteries. So um, only two AA batteries. I really don't know about the range on this because I haven't been driving it outdoors. We have snow and all here. And I wouldn't recommend driving it outdoors anyhow. I think this would run really nice on a hardwood floor. I don't have hardwood floors or any. I just have carpet. So I don't know how it runs on floors. Actually, my kitchen has tiles. And it seems like it runs a little faster on the tiles than on my carpet even though my carpet is low and it doesn't uh touch the bottom of the the vehicle but it just seems like it runs faster on a flat surface 
So pretty awesome little car that is. This is the USB charging cable that it comes with. And it comes with an instructions manual, which is actually a eight and a half by 11 <laughs> sheet of paper with everything printed on it. But uh, there's really not that much to uh, show you about how to operate it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, just there are no sounds or button presses that do any uh, extra features or anything. Just a solid looking vehicle here. The Batmobile by Air Hogs. Thanks for watching.